Have you ever wondered what it truly means to live a life filled with hope and joy, even amidst trials and tribulations? Today, we will explore this profound truth together. First, let us give praise and thanks to our Heavenly Father, who is the source of all wisdom and understanding. He has blessed us with His Word, which is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Through His Word, we find the guidance, comfort, and hope we need to navigate this life. The scripture for our devotion today is from the book of Proverbs chapter 10, verse 28. The hope of the righteous will be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked will perish. The book of Proverbs is a collection of wise sayings and teachings primarily attributed to King Solomon. It offers practical insights into living a life that honors God and reflects his wisdom. Chapter 10 marks the beginning of the second section of Proverbs, where we see a series of contrasts between the righteous and the wicked. In this particular verse, Solomon contrasts the hope of the righteous with the expectation of the wicked. To understand this fully, we must consider what it means to be righteous. In the Old Testament context, Righteousness was often associated with living in accordance with God's laws and commands. It was about a relationship with God characterized by faith, obedience, and trust in His promises. The hope of the righteous refers to the confident expectation and trust in God's faithfulness. This hope is not based on wishful thinking or uncertain desires, but is rooted in the certainty of God's character and His promises. The righteous know that their ultimate joy and gladness come from the Lord, who is unchanging and ever faithful. On the other hand, the expectation of the wicked will perish. The wicked, those who live apart from God and His ways, place their hopes in temporal and fleeting things. Their expectations are built on shaky foundations, whether it be wealth, power, or self-reliance. Ultimately, these hopes will disappoint and fade away because they are not grounded in the eternal truth of God. How does this verse reflect in our lives today? In a world filled with uncertainty, challenges and often suffering, it is easy to become disheartened. Yet, as believers, our hope is not tied to the circumstances of this world. Our hope is anchored in the steadfast love and promises of God. This hope brings us gladness even in the midst of trials, because we trust in the one who holds our future. When we place our hope in God, we are filled with a joy that transcends our circumstances. This gladness is not dependent on what is happening around us, but is a deep, abiding sense of peace and contentment that comes from knowing we are loved and cared for by our Heavenly Father. It is this hope that sustains us encourages us and enables us to face each day with confidence and joy. Let us close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the hope that you have given us through your Son, Jesus Christ. We are grateful for the joy that fills our hearts when we place our trust in you. Help us to remember that our hope is not in the things of this world, but in your eternal promises strengthen our faith, and may our lives reflect the gladness that comes from walking in your righteousness. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Goodbye, my dear brothers and sisters. May you go forth with the hope and gladness that comes from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Until next time, be blessed and stay strong in your faith.